New information tonight regarding the legal battle between the EPA and the company accused of leaving behind a toxic waste site in South Asheville. Yeah, three federal judges are set to decide whether the CTS Superfund site should be taken off the national priorities list. News 13's Mike Mason has been investigating every angle of this case. And Mike, this ruling could impact the cleanup. Yeah, the EPA says if judges decide the site should be taken off the priorities list, the cleanup will be in serious jeopardy. We could find out soon now that this court order has set the oral arguments to begin on April 10th. For nearly three decades, CTS used the toxic chemical TCE to degrease electrical components at their Asheville plant. Since closing in 1986, high levels of TCE were found in the soil and drinking water of nearby residents. In 2012, the EPA listed the site on the National Priorities List, or NPL. That list not only helps to expedite a cleanup, it can also force the contaminator to pay for it. But less than three months after the site was listed on the NPL, CTS demanded it be removed. In court records filed Monday, CTS claims the EPA had no evidence to justify putting the site on the NPL. CTS says this was only done to satisfy political demands at the price of needlessly diverting resources from sites of actual environmental risk. The EPA can only put a site on the NPL if it scores high enough on their hazard ranking system. CTS claims the EPA then directed its staff to figure out how to get the score high enough. So officials included TCE found in wells at the Oak subdivision three quarters of a mile away from the plant. But CTS says the EPA ignored obvious evidence that TCE in the wells came from a local source such as septic tanks, not the plant. The EPA's website does indicate TCE has been used as an additive in septic tanks to break down grease. CTS says the EPA has been turning a blind eye to this possibility in an attempt to avoid uncovering the inconvenient truth. CTS also points to this public meeting in 2010 where they claim an EPA official admitted the site doesn't meet the NPL criteria because the contamination did not affect enough people. There aren't that many folks there. There are no big municipal wells that supply more than 5,000 people. The EPA says CTS is wrong, pointing to a 2011 report showing the EPA's three-year investigation found the leaking septic systems are not probable sources of contamination in the Oaks. The EPA says CTS has built an entire argument based on flawed assertions the EPA failed to address the septic issue. The EPA says, as a result, CTS has fallen on its own sword. If removed from the NPL, the CTS site would revert back to the state and taxpayers would be stuck with much of the cleanup cost. However, CTS says it would still continue working with officials towards a resolution and will, of course, keep you updated.